A quiet revolution is unfolding in artillery technology that will force every army to rethink how it fields and sustains long-range fires. The development of guided 155mm rounds powered by ramjet propulsion, commonly referred to as ramjet 155, promises to give conventional artillery ranges and effects approaching those of short-range cruise missiles while remaining far cheaper per round and compatible with existing NATO standard systems. Recent tests and industry roadmaps make clear this is not speculative. Ramjet rounds can reach into the 100 to 150 kilometer class, can be guided to high precision, and are being pursued as a multi-year strategic priority by major defense contractors and armed forces. At its core, the Ramjet 155 concept replaces the classic ballistic profile of an artillery shell with an air-breathing stage. After leaving the gun, the round ignites a ramjet motor that uses the forward speed airflow to sustain high speed cruise. The result is a projectile that maintains velocity and maneuverability over distances that were previously the preserve of tactical cruise missiles. This hybrid approach keeps the logistics and launch flexibility of artillery, volley fire, rapid reload, distributed deployment, while multiplying standoff range by several times. The technical demonstrations and multiple firing trials reported by Boeing and NAMO validate the concept's feasibility in realistic conditions. The operational implications are profound. First, Ramjet 155 dramatically changes the calculus of cost versus effect. A guided 155 round produced at scale will likely cost an order of magnitude less than a tactical cruise missile while delivering comparable reach against fixed and time-sensitive targets. That difference matters. It allows a brigade or division-level force to employ massed precision strikes without exhausting strategic missile inventories or budgets. Second, because ramjet rounds are compatible with NATO's 155mm standard, Many existing artillery platforms, from Archer and PZH-2000 to upgraded M109 variants and future IRCA systems, can be adapted to fire these rounds, effectively upgaging the reach of current batteries without wholesale platform replacement. Yet the strategic power of Ramjet 155 also exposes new vulnerabilities. In a protracted high-intensity campaign, ammunition logistics, already a crucial constraint in modern warfighting, become the decisive factor. Stockpiles, production rates, and the industrial base for precision components will determine which side can sustain deep strikes over weeks and months. Sweden's recent large-scale ammunition purchases and Europe's renewed investment in munitions industry capacity demonstrate how states are already responding to this realization. Dominance in fires will depend as much on factories and supply chains as on sensors and launchers. From a tactical perspective, Ramjet 155 will reshape target sets and timing. Where traditional artillery was largely limited to battlefield depth measured in tens of kilometers, Ramjet rounds enable credible interdiction of rear area logistics, airfields, command nodes, and literal staging areas located well beyond the front line. Because artillery can be emplaced closer to contested zones, eschewing the long transit times and vulnerable launch footprints of larger missile systems, forces gain both responsiveness and salvo volume. In practical terms, many more high-value targets become reachable within a shorter decision cycle increasing the tempo of operations and complicating enemy defensive planning. Countermeasures will follow, of course. Improved counter-battery radars, integrated ISR, including persistent drone surveillance, enhanced electronic warfare and GPS denial techniques, and layered air defenses will blunt some of the ramjet threat. But those defenses are themselves costly and resource-intensive. The net effect is an arms race dynamic, 
offense becomes cheaper and more distributable. Defense must scale both technologically and economically to keep pace. In contested theaters such as the Baltic, where geography compresses distances and critical infrastructure is densely located, Ramjet 100V5's force multiplier effect is especially potent. Politically and doctrinally, the diffusion of long-range guided artillery raises thorny questions. Lowering the cost and increasing the availability of deep strike options reduces the threshold for using fires against targets deeper inside an adversary's territory. That capability can serve as a deterrent, but it also sharpens escalation risks if states are tempted to employ precision fires against strategically sensitive infrastructure. Clear rules of engagement, escalation management doctrine, and allied coordination will be essential to avoid inadvertent escalation. NATO and partners must thus pair material investments with robust political frameworks and transparent signaling to reduce miscalculation. Industrial strategy is now a front of the strategic competition. The Ramjet 155 program is not an isolated prototype. It is nested within long-range fires initiatives and multi-year procurement plans that involve major contractors and national industries. That means countries that secure production capabilities and resilient supply chains gain leverage beyond battlefield effects. They create the condition for sustained campaigns provide export opportunities, and gain diplomatic influence through arms cooperation. Europe's moves toward indigenous rocket artillery programs and collaborative efforts to reduce dependence on singular suppliers reflect a wider recognition that industrial autonomy in munitions equals strategic autonomy in war. For analysts and policymakers in Northern Europe, the immediate tasks are clear. First, conduct honest assessments of current stockpiles and industrial surge capacity. If conflict breaks out, will national inventories and allied support be sufficient for weeks of high-tempo fires? Second, accelerate integration tests to ensure ramjet rounds can be safely and reliably fired from fielded platforms. Operational delivery is as important as the round's capability. Third, invest in counter-ISR and resilient logistics to mitigate the asymmetric advantage that proliferated long-range precision fires would confer upon the attacker. Finally, embed these investments within NATO planning so that doctrine, command and control, and deterrence messaging evolve in step with technology. Ramjet 155 does not render missiles obsolete nor does it solve all the problems of modern warfare. But it alters one of the core equations of land operations. Distance is no longer the same constraint it was. For planners, that change is simultaneously an opportunity and a warning. Armies that master the production, doctrine, and integration of guided ramjet artillery will gain a decisive asymmetric option. Those that assume victory will come from platforms alone risk losing to the more fundamental variable, sustained, precise ammunition supply. In short, in the coming era of long-range fires, whoever controls the rounds will often control the campaign.